Yes. Okay, so this video, I'm going to talk about how um, my first children's father got sole custody of our son, AJ. Um, it was a court date that I was not aware of. And at this time, I think our sons were 17 and, uh, I don't know, 13, 14, 15, 15, 14 and 17. It's one of them, but anyways, um, I had moved back in with my mother in 2018, in June of 2018, I believe, and he known that, well, I'm going to say he known since 2019 that I was back in Waldorf. I was back in Waldorf. He know my mother address. He been on my mother's house, dropping the kids off before, picking them up before, you know, throughout the years when I wasn't even, you know, staying with my mom. But I moved back in with my mom from Baltimore because one of my other baby daddies, he done got so custody of our autistic son from lying on me, from getting a protective order. And I mean, it, that's a whole nother video. But basically, this whole thing is they keeping my kids from me. Okay. So basically, um, and from each other, not just from me, but from each other. They are separating my children and my children grew up together so anyways um 2018 i had moved back in with my mom in waldorf maryland and so it was a time um i guess when COVID was kind of letting up when i don't know it was fourth of july weekend of oh goodness 2020 of 2020 yeah fourth of july weekend i had took my sons three of them because my youngest son Melvin was being kept from me I had to um, I had four sons at the time um, we all went to me and my sons and my daughter's dad or this is before I had my daughter we went to Virginia Beach for the weekend I had notified the dad well his name is Lamont let me just make this easier his name is Lamont I notified him that I would not be dropping the boys off on Monday I will be dropping them off on Saturday. I'm having them for a whole week. He disagreed. He was like, no, drop them off, drop them off. Because if you don't drop them off, you know, um, on Monday, I'm going to go to the court and I'm going to file for um, sole custody. And I'm like, because I'm spending time with my sons. And then at this time, I have not seen them, seen um, my oldest two sons, maybe in about two months. Of course, I talked to them over the telephone and stuff. But the whole two months thing was because when things was going on with COVID, and this was during the time when I guess you had to stay home for two weeks. So it was like either his household had to be quarantined, somebody his household, somebody his household had to be quarantined, so everybody had to stay quarantined, or either somebody at my mom's household had to be quarantined. So we was just like, well, this is not gonna be a good weekend. So you know, whatever. So I was like, that's fine, you know, whatever. We worked it out. So I'm like, well, you know, when this thing light up or whatever, I want to have them for a whole week. And this is during the summertime. And during the summertime, I always have them for a full week before school start. So 4th of July, that is the summertime, correct? Yes. 4th of July is during the summertime. So anyways, I had told him I'm having them for a week, keeping them for a week. He was like, no, bring them back. I was like, I'm not bringing them back. You know, I'm spending time with them. They spending time with each other. We all spending time with each other, with each other, you know. So needless to say, I dropped them off a week later at the destination's point. And, you know, the boys got in the car, this and that. So, sure enough, he filed for custody. He went up to the courthouse and I guess he filed. So he didn't tell me, of course he notified me, he like told me what he was going to do. But far as me getting any kind of paperwork melt to me, no. So come to find out, he purposely put an old address when I was living in Baltimore. The first address when I was living in Baltimore in Sedonia, which was back in 2015. Yeah, which was in 2015. And I moved from that location since I'm gonna say 2017, I moved to another location in Baltimore. But he put the first address. So um, 
anyway, and I'm quite sure he ain't know nothing about the second address, which is fine. But I'm getting that is he knew that I was back in Wardall. So therefore, when he did file any kind of paperwork with the court system, he should have put the Wardall address on there. But he put purposely, you know, put it, uh, the wrong address, my wrong address. So I ain't know nothing about no court dates or anything. So needless to say, I guess a court date came and I didn't show. I didn't know anything about it. And he got so custody of our sons. So I'm like, and I was telling him, like, you, you know, upset because they spending time with each other. Like, you want to file for sole custody because my children are spending time with each other. I'm spending time with them. And I even said this in the text, like, come on, come on, dude, you know. So, um, yeah, so that's how he got sole custody of our two sons. And so, and during this time... When I dropped them off to his dad, coming back, you know, from having them for a week, you know, I supposed to see them every other weekend. I was supposed to see them every other weekend. So the weekend that I, you know, supposed to see them the following weekend, when I, you know, the weekend after the, the following weekend, you know, he was like, um, I met up at the at the meetup point, and he was like 20 minutes late. So I texted him. I was like, um, you know, how how far are you away? You know, how much longer are you going to be? You know, you like 15, 20 minutes behind, you know, like what's going on? So he's like, he texts me back, oh, well, we on a family vacation, so I'm not going to be dropping them off to you today. And I'm like, sent them a text, and I got all of this. I was like, oh, okay, well, you're on a family vacation. That's fine. Good, y'all doing things together. But next time, give me a heads up because I could be saving gas. I could have been doing something else instead of waiting. Like, you know, next time, let me know. Don't have me come up here when you know that you wasn't going to be up here. But needless to say, I'm I'm not 100% sure, but I'm quite sure that was a lie. I'm quite sure he just didn't want the, my our sons to see me. And I'm like, come on now. So, anywho, I wasn't seeing him. He kept them from seeing me I guess while this court date and even waiting on the court date or whatever he still supposed to have let me continue to see my sons but he was keeping them from me and I'm like come on dude can I see him this weekend can I see him you know it was just like so yeah he kept my our sons from me and like I said he over here hurting them more than he hurt me that's why I'm like come on dude what what is the problem Y'all over here focusing on me, trying to hurt me, but y'all hurting my sons in the process, you know, keeping them from each other and keeping them from me. So, um, what about to say? So, basically, um, yeah, he, the court date came, like I said, I ain't know nothing about it. This is months later when I found out that, you know, he got sole custody of them. So, basically, he, you know, is the, is the decision maker. You know, he now is I'm on his terms whenever he want me to see them. That's when I supposed to see them, you know, whatever. So, um, our son, our oldest son, you know, he turned 18 during this time. So then he, you know, aged out of it. But our youngest son, AJ, you know, he's still he's 15 now. He's about to be 16 in March. He's still, you know, in the custody of his dad. So at this time, AJ started acting up like that uh, you know like misbehaving and then his dad this was probably like a year ago his dad was like oh yeah well, actually not even a was it a year ago probably a little less than that six or seven six or seven months ago I don't even I'm gonna say less than a year ago his dad talking about well huh you can have AJ basically you can have AJ because he's misbehaving he's skipping school he's smoking weed he's lying He's misbehaving, he's, you know, breaking curfew, he's, you know, doing this and doing that. So here you go, you can have him, I'm a foul, and you can go ahead and get, you know, custody of him and stuff like that. I'm like, wait a minute now, now you're trying to pass him over to me when he's, you know, misbehaving and got all these, you know, things going on with him and stuff like that. I'm like, I'm quite sure he started misbehaving because I was out of his life, because of you kept me from seeing seeing him and you kept him from seeing me and seeing his other siblings so yeah I'm quite sure he will act out like come on dude like really that's something like what is wrong with y'all like like I said man be careful with the people you have children with 
Cause I'm just like, if, if they if if they really in love with you and you don't want to be with them, they were trying to just create problems, just try to create problems. When it's like, come on, we supposed to be working together as a team. We supposed to be co-parenting. We supposed to be looking out for our children, putting our children first. You over here keeping my sons from me. For what? Like for what? Because of your personal issues with me, because I don't want to be with you, and you've stuck in a miserable relationship, in a relationship when your wife is cheating on you and y'all going through problems. Don't put that on me. Don't get mad at me for that. Like that's the choice you made. So, um, so yeah, so he um you know our son aj he started misbehaving and his dad wasn't letting him call me and like doing none of that and like and and when i did talk to you know my son's on the phone or aj on the phone it was like his dad had to be there to listen in on the conversation it's like what why you got to listen on the conversation when he was to say throughout this time like our son i guess was is misbehaving and so i actually had to call cps on his dad because um, when was this? Was it during the summertime when it was hot outside? And he had my son sleeping in the car, you know, I guess because he came home late and the doors was locked. And I guess he broke curfew. So they locked him outside and, and gave him a plate of food to eat and outside and told him he got to sleep in the car. And this is during the summertime. Man, it, it's so much that one stuff. Like, that's what I'm like, man. But where I'm living at now, like I said, I'm waiting for I'm waiting for my house because I'm gonna have all my children, all my children. We all going to be together because right now where I'm living at, it's you know it's an apartment, it's a you know, two bedroom apartment, and it's having and I even told him I said yeah AJ can come over every other weekend like how it was before like of course I want to see my son, and his dad was like well. No, you you just have to have them. I'm like, come on now. You can't drop them off every other weekend and, you know, pick them up how I was doing. So, that was a no-go. But, um, yeah, so that's with his ass, with his dumb ass. Like, goodness. And I swear, like, these dudes, man, I swear, they they going to they gonna learn. I'm quite sure it's hitting them now. It's hitting them now because I'm I'm be thinking about it every so often and I'm like something coming like that karma got to them that karma something is is getting to them like I don't have no communication with these guys or whatever you know but I'm like I know it's hitting them they thinking about like damn I treated her wrong like I took her, her children from her because I lied on her like she didn't do anything to her you know to our sons you know, but I, I had to lie to get them from her. But like I said, when you took my children from me, you took them from each other. And that's the sad part about it. Because now my sons is growing up apart. They're not even interacting with each other when they were ever since they was born. That's so I'm like, y'all niggas, y'all be focusing on the wrong freaking stuff. Stop focusing on trying to hurt me. Focus on the children, like what's best for them. Focus on the love for the children. Like, come on. <clears throat> Sorry, I got the dishwasher going on in the background. So, but um, but I don't know. I guess that's about it for now. I'm quite. I got plenty of things to say. Plenty of more things to say, and I will say it. So yeah, more videos to come. All right.